Robert Beekner, an award-winning professor of physics at North Carolina State University, knew there had to be a better way to teach introductory physics than in a large lecture hall. In a large class, students can get lost. The one factor that makes the most difference in student success is whether they feel like someone cares how they perform. So the quality of the relationships that students have with other students and with their faculty makes all the difference in the world. And so the scale-up classroom was designed to facilitate those interactions between students and with faculty. Scale Up, which originally stood for Student-Centered Activities for Large Enrollment, University Physics, is part of Beekner's life's work to study and improve science, technology, engineering, and math education. From the physical setup of the classroom to the delivery of information and the use of technology, Scale Up isn't your mother's physics class. Instead of the professor delivering formulas, rules, and other content, students gather that information from the web and then work in teams, making measurements and observations in class, applying the content they learn to solving problems. What used to happen is that content was delivered in the classroom, students would struggle with it doing homework outside. We've reversed that so that the content they pick up outside and they struggle with the harder aspects of the content in class where they've got help. The traditional lecture hall is uh, sometimes characterized as a, a place where information passes from the notes of the instructor to the notes of the student without going through either head. And that really doesn't work for employers who keep telling us that they want graduates who are critical thinkers. The classroom is made up of many large tables for nine students, each with their own laptop. There are wall and portable whiteboards to work out experiments, large monitors to share information, and lab equipment. Students at each table work together to solve problems, while the professor roams around the classroom providing guidance. When the students first walk into this classroom, it sends the message right away that this is not business as usual. This is the first class of the semester and I was just blown away at this is what a college classroom could look like. One of the best things about a scale-up classroom is it can be messy, you know, like making sausage, but you were right there beside them when the light bulb comes on and you watch as they turn and they you know, explain something to one of their neighbors and they're very, very excited and, and, and it's fun to be part of that process. One of the biggest aspects of this course was teamwork and I think I probably learned the most from my peers, just bouncing ideas off of each other and giving each other feedback. Scale Up now stands for Student-Centered Active Learning Environment for Undergraduate Programs because it's used for a variety of classes besides physics. It's been adapted by over 100 universities and colleges across the U.S. and may even move into high schools. Universities like MIT and the University of Minnesota often use their own acronyms for their adaptation of Scale Up. I would come over and interact with small groups of students and the kinds of solutions they came up with were astonishing. I was inspired and really awed by the quality of the conversations they were having. The major advantage of that is they learn from each other and more importantly as I sit and listen to them I learn what they don't know. You see them go down the wrong direction sometimes because everybody agrees that's the right direction. But more often you see somebody say, wait, that can't be, and give a cogent reason for why that is. The failure rates of students at North Carolina State University using scale-up for introductory physics courses has dropped threefold overall. But for African American students, the drop is nearly fourfold. And for women, it's about fivefold, two groups who are underrepresented in the sciences. And one of the features of the scale-up model is this collaborative environment where a diversity of students are working together and each brings their own worldview, their own spin on a problem to bear. And there's a lot of literature that indicates when you bring a diversity of experience and worldviews to tackling a problem, you get better answers.